Hallelujah. Good morning, people of God. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad about it. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. I hope everyone is in one piece this morning. I hope you slept well. Hallelujah. Oh, God is so faithful. Our God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Hallelujah. We will not be here long this morning. Good morning. I just want to share a couple of things. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah. For the Lord our God is our strength, and the Lord our God is our strong tower. He is the place where the righteous shall run in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. For it is in him that we live, move, and have our being. Hallelujah. There is none greater, none before, none after. He is the great I am. He is the lily of the valley. He is the bright of the morning star. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Hallelujah. All right, people of God, I'm going to go ahead and hop in because we won't be here long this morning. We won't be here long this morning. I just want to share a couple of things with you all who don't uh, who don't go to Makeover Transformation Church. I made an announcement on Sunday and um, just want to reiterate. Hallelujah. God is faithful. God is faithful. So I made an announcement on Sunday, and um, I was saying that I'm getting ready to take a sabbatical. I'm getting ready to be off the grid uh, for the next two weeks, and I won't be back. Let me see. Let me get my calendar. Let's get the calendar out. Hallelujah. God is faithful, y'all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, oh, God. Okay, so I'm going on sabbatical, and I will not be back until to uh, Makeover Ministry um, at 7 a.m. until November the 15th. So I'll be going off. Uh, I won't be here the rest of this week and next week. But I will be back November the 15th. I'm going on sabbatical. Hallelujah. So I just want to let you all know. Because y'all will be messaging me. Bless God. I love it. Y'all be checking on me to make sure I'm alive and well. And in one piece. And I am. I'm alive and well. And in one piece. And the Lord is faithful. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. So um, briefly, I'm going to give you a little brief overview, give you announcements, and we're going to be off. We won't be here long this morning. I just wanted to come and give uh, give you all a brief update. Um, hallelujah. So I'm going on sabbatical. God is so faithful. The Bible says that he will not have us ignorant to Satan's devices. And um, I had a really good friend, a prophet, woman of God, call me. And we were on the phone and we had a blessed conversation. And she told me, she said, woman of God, I just want to tell you, you missed God. Um, you missed God. And so um, she, she talked to me. We were on the phone a couple of hours and uh, walked back down through the, through the testimony with me. And absolutely, yes, God, I missed God. The marriage that I am getting a divorce from right now, I miss God. I miss the warning that the Lord gave me. And so I, I went through a whole year of hell that I didn't have to go through. Um, and so I thank the Lord for revealing because he, he knows I'm going to teach my way through. I'm going to teach other people the potholes, the traps, and the tricks of the enemy. Though it was still honorable to uh, marry because we wasn't, I wasn't going to shack up and do all those things. Um, but it still was not God's best intention for my life. It was not in the will of God um, that he wanted me to do that. But God is a faithful God. He is loving. Listen. I promise you, I'm over here like, whew. Um, one of my, someone told me, they said, well, aren't you embarrassed to say you miss God? No, 
why would I be embarrassed? This is the Bible says we prophesy in part. No one person knows every single thing. If you know every single thing, then that makes you God. Um, and the Lord told me this. He said, um, she said, well, it will discredit your ministry. I said, no, that, that doesn't discredit. I'm, I've always been honest. I'm transparent. And others can learn from it. Um, and the Lord said it this way. He said, uh, no ministry will be discredited that tells the truth. You can't discredit a ministry that tells the truth. And the Lord said, you can't discredit a ministry that I put together. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. And the Lord reminded me. He said, I knew what you was going to do before you did it. I, it didn't catch me off guard. I told Peter that he would deny me three times. Yeah, but I still love Peter. I told Judas that he would betray me. Come on. He said the difference between Judas and Peter was Peter came back. Yeah, Peter came back. God, I love your word. He said the difference, yeah, between uh, Judas and Peter was that Peter came back. And so um, never be ashamed. It's, a, it's still a part of your testimony. I always say never be ashamed of what God saw. Now, if God seen it, who are you? Who am I? Who is? Who is? No, the only, only person mad about the truth is the devil. The only person mad about the truth is the devil. So never be ashamed of your story, of your testimony. Listen, I tell her, I don't care what people think. I am grateful that the Lord kept his hand upon me because I missed the warnings that came before destruction. I am so glad that even though uh, I missed the warning, I blessed the Lord for him keeping his hand upon me and talking to me and being with me through it because I literally almost lost my mind. And that was a trick and it was a trap sent from the devil. OK, to make me lose my mind. So I bless God. Hey, this is not about what people think. Your walk is personal and you have to give an account. And if more leaders realize that you can you can be honest, you can be transparent. Um, th there's nothing shameful about honesty. There's nothing shameful about telling the truth. OK, that's beautiful. The Bible says the truth shall set you free when you have really been baptized in the truth. You're going to tell it. You're going to tell it your good days, bad days, sad days, all days in between. And God is still faithful. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. He is good to me and it is my will and it is my desire to please the one who sent me. And so um, that that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. So another thing that is blessed, so I'm going on sabbatical. I'm going on sabbatical for two weeks and I already got to move. I just been three days and the Lord has been, whew, bless God. I don't know what hit my house last night, but when I tell you a praise, I couldn't stop praising God last night. I could not stop. We had a Holy Ghost good time in our house last night. Hallelujah. I was 10 seconds from preaching on the street corner, but I was too stirred up. God is faithful, y'all. He's a good guy. Um, something I want to tell you all about. So I have something. I have it set up on my website. Um, something new that we're doing. And it's called Makeover Ministry Life Talk. Makeover Ministry Life Talk. So for some of you that know I'm a life coach, spiritual counselor, whichever way you want to call it. Like I say, the world calls it life coaching. The church calls it spiritual counsel. Whichever one you want to call it, I'm going to say the same thing. Use the same Bible and prophesy by the Spirit of God concerning you. Okay. So... Um, the beautiful thing about that is I've realized some, um, some people have reached out about it and they say, oh, I can't afford it. And that's fine. Um, my objective is not to get rich because the Lord supplies all of my needs according to his riches and glory. So I created a space for those who cannot afford it. Um, and it's called Makeover Ministry Life Talk. Now, as you are going through your process and the Lord is blessing you, um, this is an opportunity for people to get healed and allow other people to get healed from your story. So it is a public platform. It will not be live necessarily all the time. But what we will do is um, you'll go on the website, go on the first page, which is makeoverministry.com, scroll down to Life Talk, um, Makeover Ministry Life Talk, and you can book your session. What happens is you'll get a Zoom link. You have to con con uh you have to agree that your sessions uh, will be public and can be used for public purposes for other people's healing. It's not about to embarrass you. You may say, oh, well, people want to come just for the entertainment. Well, that's their loss. Who cares? When you are really trying to get free, it doesn't matter what other people think. We just talked about that. Come on. It's honorable to get free before God. It is honorable to be honest because when you lie to yourself, 
you will lie to others. I don't lie to myself. That's why I can, I'm comfortable telling the truth um, about myself. All right. Bless God. Hallelujah. Because I tell you when I get it right. And I told y'all that. I told y'all in several messages I preach. If someone only tells you their good days and they're ashamed, they don't tell you their flaws. I will not be in a relationship where I only can share the good stuff. So then don't be doing bad stuff to me because I'm going to tell about it. Yeah, I'm going to tell about it. Um, because I tell about my own things. But Makeover Ministry Life Talk is a place where you can come. You can get a free, a couple of free sessions as long as you're willing to allow your sessions to be public, as long as you are willing to do the work. Because you're not, I don't let nobody waste my time. So I'm, I'll discontinue it if I feel like you're not growing or I can't help. Either way, I'm, I'm not, this is not for entertainment. This is not to, uh, to make light of anyone's life or anyone's life story. But the Bible says Revelation 12 and 11, I believe we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. And they love not their life even unto death. What does that mean? Woman of God, they overcame first. You overcome by the blood. You overcame. Then you share your testimony and it your testimony. When you share it, it, it keeps you free and unlocks the door on somebody else. When I tell people publicly that I've been delivered from homeless sexuality. When I tell people publicly that I miss God somewhere, then at the end of the day, that keeps me accountable because now people are looking. Blessings, man of God. People are looking to say, well, she said she was delivered. Is she going to look at that woman when she walked past? Is she going to do that? Is he going to? It holds you accountable. And when you truly free, I don't care who watches. You can put a microscope scope on my life. The Bible says your ministry should be blameless. God, I love your word. So this whole don't judge nobody culture is not good. The Bible says you have to, the church should judge the church. Yeah, but judge righteously. Judge according to the standard of Christ. The Bible says in Ephesians 4 that the Lord gave gifts unto the church so that they could equip the church to live up to the standard of Christ, the full and complete measure, the standard of Christ. So um, absolutely, God is good. He's a good God. He's faithful. He is kind. He is loving. So I will be on sabbatical for two weeks. And then when we come back out of sabbatical, I love God. We will be in Grenada, Mississippi. If it is uh, the Lord willing, we'll be in Grenada, Mississippi uh, for our fire power um, revival 2022. Bless the name of the Lord. Fan the flames. Hallelujah. I'm excited. So we will be there for two nights. We will be there Monday night and Tuesday night. That will be um, November the 14th and November the 15th. And then November the 16th, we'll still be in Grenada, but we will be going to church. Um, I can't remember the name of the church. Bless the Lord. But Yes, so we're gonna be we're gonna be in Grenada. I'm looking forward to what it is that God is gonna do in that place. I believe that we will experience a, a, a great move of God. I feel that the Lord was ministering it to me last night. Hallelujah! God is good. He's good, and 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 every nook and cranny of your life, um, it belongs to the Lord. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our life unto death. That means I'm able to tell my story and I don't care. I don't care about killing my image. I don't care about killing. Oh, because I don't have an image. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And see, the thing about it is my nourishment. Jesus said it this way. And I understand what he's saying. My nourishment, it comes from doing the will of the one who sent me. OK, it comes from doing the will of the one who sent me. And so that's the beauty of it. Continuing to pursue God, continuing to chase after God. Many of you are going through depression, anxiety, uh, whatever you're going through situations because you're not doing the will of God. There is a supernatural strength that comes. There's a supernatural nourishment. You won't need a pill when you do the will. I ain't, I'm about to preach, but I ain't going to preach because I'm not, I'm not going to preach. I love y'all. But I just want to come on here briefly and let you all know I love you all. I'm going on sabbatical. I will not be back until November the 15th, uh, but we will be in Grenada, Mississippi, November the 14th. I'm looking forward to God showing up and showing out. The last time we were there, we had a hallelujah, mighty good time. And God will be at Zach's Mobile Detail Shop in Grenada, Mississippi. The flyer is on my TikTok, and I do encourage you to share it. Let's come together and see what it is that the Lord uh, is going to do. I love you all. Be encouraged. I'm Apostle Julia. This is the Makeover Ministry. And if you have not uh, 
signed up, feel free to go to my website, makeoverministry.com and sign up for Makeover Ministry Life Talk. Share your testimony, get free while others are able to look on and get free. Hallelujah. All right. I love you. I'll be in coverage. Have a great week. Next week, stay in your words. Stay focused. Listen, I don't want to be like Moses. When Moses came back from talking to the Lord, the people had built a golden calf and everything. They was just cutting up. Don't y'all do that. Come on, y'all stay in alignment. Stay in alignment, people of God. I love you. I'll be encouraged. Know if God be for you, he's greater than the world against you. Blessings and peace.